What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here and it's Top 10 Thursday. So we've all had that experience. You're playing a game, you're having fun, you're beating a lot of stuff when suddenly you can't get any further. You run into that one dungeon or one level that's so incredibly hard it acts like a roadblock. Well this week we're honoring the best of the best on my list of Top 10 Hardest Levels in Gaming. Number 10. The Water Temple. The Zelda series has some of the best designed dungeons around, with secret items, interesting puzzles, and a wide range of enemies making each one awesome. Well, except for the headache causing Water Temple. What makes this one so hard is that many areas can't be accessed at all unless you set the water level to a certain point. Basically, you can't access whole portions of this dungeon until you solve each puzzle in the correct order. When this game first came out, the internet wasn't really big yet. The only way to even figure this out was to try each puzzle in each order, figuring out the exact path to victory. Number 9. A Cold Day in Hell when most people think of Max Payne, they think of run and gun action and playing as a cop with nothing to lose. And for the most part, they're correct. But in the original Max Payne, whenever he sleeps, you get trapped in these terrible nightmare sequences. In these, Max is haunted by the death of his family, transported to a twisted version of their old home. Hallways that go on forever, physics that make no sense, and creepy cries of pain make this a rough time. The real challenge arises though with how you get around. To beat this level, you need to walk on tightrope trails of blood. These narrow paths wind back and forth, constantly making you question if you're going the correct direction. Most brutally of all though, if you slip off the this trail, you appear all the way back at the beginning of the level. The only way it's possible to win is to have a steady hand, keep calm, and hope you can make it out of this nightmare intact. Number 8. Turbo Tunnel now this one may look rather simple at first glance. I mean, you're just zooming down a tunnel trying to avoid rocks, right? Well, not quite. Battletoads is a game that specializes in wearing you down over time, making you lose your limited lives from small mistakes. No test in this game is harder though than this. As you fly down this path, at 100 miles an hour, you only have milliseconds to react to the incoming rocks coming for you. If that wasn't ridiculous enough, you also need to steer carefully to hit these ramps, that way you can clear these massive gaps. Memorization is almost mandatory. Knowing where the gaps and rocks will be before they appear seems to be the only way to actually avoid them. So shotgun a Red Bull and try your best on this level. Number 7. Alien Autopsy Simpsons Hit and Run was sort of like a kid's version of Grand Theft Auto, with the small difference that it's really hard at times. The final mission of this game has you trying to stop aliens from destroying the planet. To save the world, you just have one simple little task ahead of you. Race to the nuclear power plant, pick up a canister of hazardous waste, and get it back to the alien mothership. Now if that wasn't impossible enough, you also have the added difficulty that if you're bumped too hard at all, you'll drop the nuclear waste and have to restart the level from the beginning. For some reason, the aliens that you're going against even have their own car. They're cruising around Springfield looking for you. If they bump your car, once again, you drop the nuclear waste and appear back at the beginning. It just seems like this whole mission requires zero room for error. You either do it flawlessly or fail completely. Number 6. Arnhem Nights a bombed out city in Holland isn't normally the setting you expect to find a hard level, but in Medal of Honor Frontline, you'll quickly find yourself cursing the Nazis. Moving forward block by block, you're surrounded by snipers, machine gun turrets, and worst of all, tanks. You have one health bar and almost no health kits that you're going to stumble across, so you end up letting your few allies get shot while you try and pick off a few of the bad guys. By far, the hardest part about this death trap is those tanks. Tucked into the corners of streets, you'll find these juggernauts waiting to kill you in a single shot. The worst part about this is that most of the time, you won't even see a tank until it's too late. If you can see it, 
it can see you, and that usually leads to a game over. The roughest part is the fact that you actually have to destroy these tanks to leave the area. It's not mission accomplished until each one is destroyed, so you better hope you find a rocket launcher with a lot of ammo and you've got some luck on your side. Number 5. Aztec the Nintendo 64 had so many great titles on it, many with a hidden layer of challenge gamers weren't expecting. Taking the role of secret agent James Bond can be a bit daunting, especially on the harder difficulties, but if you're able to beat this whole game on the hardest difficulty, you unlock a special bonus level. On this extra mission, simply called Aztec, your job is to sneak into a base and reprogram a space shuttle. What makes this so hard though is that every guard is programmed to have the best weapons in the game and super aim. Every tiny encounter can be your death. You have to be extremely slow, sneaking around every corner with your gun raised, always ready to fire before they can kill you. To top it all off though, at the end of the level you have to fight a boss named Jaws, who can take 15 headshots to kill. Really, only the most hardcore of first-person shooter fans has even a chance of winning. Number 4. Water Dam Being a turtle, you expect to be able to swim well. Heck, you expect to be more powerful underwater, but in this game, that certainly isn't the case. Alright, let's run through the list of problems with what's going on here. First, you have a very limited breath timer. Why can an aquatic creature only hold its breath for two minutes? Second, laser beams of electricity are flickering on and off, and the barest brush from one can be fatal. The biggest problem with this, and probably what makes it most difficult of all, is that you have a lot to do. In this level of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you're trying to disarm bombs. Yes, that's right, ninjas disarming explosives underwater is what this level is all about. Many people consider this the hardest moment of any of the original Nintendo games, and keep in mind, the original Nintendo had a lot of hard games on it. Millions of retro collectors to this day like to try and track this cartridge down just to try and see if they can beat this damn level. Number 3. The Perfect Run on any list of best Mario games, you have to mention Mario Galaxy 2. Any diehard fan knows how fun it is to do a full playthrough of a Mario game, finding every hidden star. In this game though, you're in for a bit of a surprise. In order to call this game truly beaten, you have to go to the far edge of the galaxy and take on this nearly impossible course. For this entire level, you have one health and no checkpoints. If you touch a landmine, get shot by a laser, or get too close to one of the hundreds of enemies, you're instantly kicked back to the beginning of this level. Now if that wasn't hard enough, much of this is done mid-air, requiring you to swing from one point to the next flawlessly. Just look at this part here, a whole batch of floating platforms covered in hammer bros. This level is arguably totally unfair. It's so brutally difficult it gives you no chance, but that's actually what's kind of fun about it. Number 2. Sacred Grounds Imagine being deep underground in a cave filled with spikes and demons, and all you have to save yourself is a machine gun and a jetpack. Zipping around this area requires surgical precision, because the floor and ceiling are full of red spikes. Your journey is made even more terrifying by the fact that you get no health potions or save points during the course of this entire final level, including the last boss. Victory rides on your ability to pilot the maze smoothly, fight off hordes of baddies, and then, at the end, fight a huge three-part boss. When you first try this level, it seems unbeatable. The odds are just so stacked against you. Some people have made mods of the PC version just to make this part slightly easier. Now that's saying something. If people are willing to open up your game, tinker with the code just to make a game slightly more beatable. Number 1. Sin's Fortress Dark Souls is a series that prides itself on torturing dedicated gamers, on being ruthless without remorse, but this level is truly hell. 
Each one of the soulless creatures in your way must be fought extremely carefully. Winding trails confuse you as the route you need to take, and worst of all, booby traps litter the hallways. Just let what you're looking at right here sink in. This incredibly narrow bridge has almost no wiggle room, but on the left and the right are giant swinging axe blades. The big obvious traps are hard, but just to be extra punishing, there are also hidden traps, pressure plates that if stepped on can kill you instantly. If you beat the first half of this fortress, there is a checkpoint. Oh, I did forget to mention, the checkpoint is also hidden. You have to throw yourself off this cliff just right in order to find a hidden bonfire. If you're able to make it past all these impossible odds, then at the very top you get to face off against a massive iron golem. The only way I can even explain how hard this game is, is it's like taking a test you didn't study for, and the test itself is written in another language that you don't speak. No matter how prepared you are, death is mandatory on this level. You must die. You must learn. You must be better than you've ever been before. And for that reason, it wins my award as the hardest level in gaming. Did your favorite tough level not make the list? Got an idea for a future top 10? Leave it in the comments down below. I wanted to thank all the people on the Twitter and Facebook page for all the great suggestions. The levels you suggest, the ideas you give me, really influence how these videos turn out. And really, I don't think I could have done this without you. Thank you so much. Feel free to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if it's your first time watching. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.